Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over lighting for the A10. I'm going to do internal and external lighting. So let's go ahead and start with internal lighting. You can equip your night vision goggles by hitting right shift and H. You can increase the brightness of the goggles by hitting right shift, right control and H. And you can decrease the brightness with right shift, right alt and H. You can turn on the flashlight by hitting left alt and L. You can change the brightness of the heads up display using this switch on the upfront controller here, this switch that says intensity. You turn it to the left to decrease the brightness and to the right to increase it. By the way, you can also change the color of the heads up display using this switch here. If you put it to day mode, the heads up display will be green. And if you put it to night, it will be yellow. On the right side, we have this panel back here. This controls the internal lighting. First, the console light switch will control the brightness of the backlights for the left and right console. The floodlight switch will control the brightness of the floodlights. The flight instrument switch changes the brightness of our main instruments up here. The engine instruments obviously controls our engine instruments. And the auxiliary instruments knob just controls extra stuff, which you can see I'm adjusting it right now. Now there's also this switch here accelerator and compass. If you turn it on, it will turn on the lights for our compass here on the right and the G-meter here on the left. Now keep in mind, in order for these lights to work, you have to have your auxiliary instrument brightness up. You can control the brightness of the countermeasures panel using this knob right here. You can control the brightness of your left and right screens using the brightness switch right here. You can control the brightness of the ARC-210 radio using these two buttons right here. You can change the brightness of the countermeasures panel using this switch right here. There is also the signal lights switch right here, which you can turn to bright and dim. This is supposed to control the brightness of the caution panel, however, currently it doesn't work. And this switch here that says refuel status and indexer lights, this is supposed to control the brightness of the AOA indicator here and the refueling status light here, however, this switch currently doesn't work either. You can also test all the warning lights by pressing down this button here. And you can test the fire detection system by holding down this button here. Okay, now let's go to external lights. The external lights is controlled using this panel right here and also the pinky switch on our throttle, which you can barely see moving right here. First, I'm gonna talk about the pinky switch because the pinky switch on the throttle will override all the settings on this panel. The middle position on the pinky switch will turn off all external lights no matter what. The backwards position on the pinky switch will set your external lights based on how the panel is configured here. And the forward position on the pinky switch will turn off the anti-collision lights and put the position lights into steady mode. I'm going to bring the pinky switch all the way back so that way we can adjust the lights using this panel here. The anti-collision light is a light that blinks to make it easier for other planes to see you. So if I turn it on, you can see we have those blinking lights on our wingtips right now. The position lights have two modes, flash and steady. If I put it to steady, you can see they're just steady like that. If I put it to flash, then they will start fading in and out like that. The formation lights will turn on these little blue strips around the airplane to make it easier for your wingman to form up with you. The nose illumination switch, if you turn it on, there are some lights on the wings which point toward the nose and they kind of light up the front of the plane like this. Um, and now if I turn them off here, you can see the nose is not lit up anymore. Now keep in mind, in order to turn on the nose illumination switch, in order for this to work, the formation light switch has to be on. There is also this switch here which is supposed to control the night vision lights for the A10, but in DCS it doesn't do anything. Then there is this switch here. This controls the light for the air refueling port. Now, in order to see it, we have to go ahead and open the port. Okay, the air refueling port in the nose is opening. As you can see, there's no light right now. But if I come here and increase this, then you can see the light. The last light we have is the taxi and landing light, which is this one here. It's pretty straightforward. You press it down for taxi and you press it up for landing. Um, and landing will give you a more narrow light beam, but it will reach farther out. And I almost forgot to mention that you can change the brightness of the heads-up display by going to your stat page here and then clicking HMCS, and then you can change it from night mode to day mode. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.